Hello and welcome back to our channel guys and today we are going to do the match review of the thrilling clash between Barcelona and Napoli in the first leg of the Champions League round of 16. It was an intense battle at the Diego Armando Maradona Stadium ending in a hard fought 1-1 draw. So guys let's break down the key moments for this exciting encounter but first make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and ring the bell icon for all the latest football updates. Now let's dive into the action. Napoli head coach Francisco Calzona played this game with a 4-3-3 formation in which he started Merit at goal, Di Lorenzo at right back, Rahmani and Juan were the two centre backs and Oliveira played this game at left back. In midfield, Labotka started this game alongside Angueza and Kajuste. While in attack, Politano started this game at right wing, Kavarat Skelia at left wing and Oziman played this game as a centre forward. While Barcelona head coach Javi Hernandez also played this game with a 4-3-3 formation in which he started Mark and Ter Stegen at goal, Jules Kounde at right back, Araujo and Inigo Martinez were the two centre backs and Yao Cancelo played this game at left back. In midfield, Andreas Christensen played this game alongside Ilkay Gundogan and Frankie De Jong. While in attack, Lamine Yamal started this game at right wing. Pedri at left wing and Lewandowski played this game as a centre forward. In the first half, Barcelona came out strong, dominating the Napoli half with impressive ball movement and creating early opportunities. Lamine Yamal and Ilkay Gundogan posed a constant threat testing Napoli's goalkeeper Alex Merit. However, Merit's stellar performance with three crucial saves denied Barcelona an early lead. The defensive duo of Ronald Araujo and Jules Kounde showcased their prowess, neutralizing Napoli's attacking threats. As the first half progressed, Napoli found their rhythm but failed to trouble Mark and Ritter Stegen. Barca's solid defensive display and midfield control laid a foundation for success. Despite the absence of goals, the Blaugrana headed into half-time with confidence, knowing they needed to capitalize on their dominance in the second half. Barcelona resumed the second half with continued control, creating chances through Lamine Yamal and Ilkay Gundogan. The breakthrough finally came at the hour mark, as Pedri delivered an extraordinary assist through the defender's leg setting up Robert Lewandowski for a clinical finish. Barcelona took the lead and with 30 minutes remaining, they look poised for a victory. Surprisingly, Napoli showed little urgency after conceding, but against the run of play, they equalized with Victor Ozyman's determined effort. Barca struggled to regain control and Napoli's late goal altered the course of the game. Javi Hernandez introduced Rafinha and Yao Felix in search of a winner. But the Napoli defence held firm and the match ended in a 1-1 draw. While the result might be bittersweet for Barcelona, a draw away in the Champions League knockout stages is never a bad outcome. The team showcased maturity and strength throughout. Creating numerous chances, Napoli's equaliser may have shifted the momentum but the Blaugrana can take encouragement from their overall performance. Now let's take a look at the match stats. Napoli took a total of 6 6 shots in which only one of them was on target, while Barcelona took a total of 12 shots in which 6 of them were on target. Napoli had 49% of possession, while Barcelona had 51% of possession. Napoli commit 11 fouls, while Barcelona got 14 fouls and also got 3 yellow cards. So guys, what are your thoughts on the match? Do you think Barcelona will secure a victory in the second leg? Share your thoughts in the comment section down below and don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for all the latest football updates. Until next time, thank you.